Hi guys and welcome back to the channel um, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Harley, the new Harley Quinn Lady Gaga album um, so I'm going to be reviewing some of that I'm also I might talk a little bit about the Joker film what I know so far about it um, I'm so excited because tomorrow I'm going watching the new Joker 2 film so I'm really excited to go and see that because it's going to be amazing and I've looked forward to like waiting for it um, and some this is a separate project as well from her other stuff I'm also going to be doing a mixture of triggers in this video because I know how much people like the triggers in my videos I thought I'd do a combination of both um, before I start the video I just wanted to say that um, when if I do you know as I'm doing my videos in the past few uh, months or weeks um, I just really want people to keep viewing my videos non-stop like even if you view it in the background because it really helps me get my monetization back on my channel like I won't, I'm not getting paid currently for my uh, YouTube that's probably why people will probably not notice I have ads anywhere in my video because I need the watch time hours and the views to actually get there um, I might be even posting some shots as well on YouTube so that I can get my views up and the watch time hours again so I can get my monetization back and that's how you get my monetization is basically how I get my income on YouTube so if you can view my videos all the time like which I've appreciated all the support of the other people that have been viewing my content constantly and I've kept re-watching my videos to give me some sort of views um, so that really does help so I thank for those people that are still viewing it but if you could continue to view them in the background and um, keep viewing them and viewing them and I don't know how far I think I'm like on 500 and something watch time hours I can't remember really I'd have to look into it but I've really appreciated all the support of people who keep re-watching my videos and giving me some views. If you could keep doing it though, guys, I'd really appreciate it. Um, I don't want to sound like I'm mourning about that too much because I don't want to mourn about it. But it's been giving me a hard time lately, not being able to get paid on my content. Um, and I'm trying to get it back if I can do, but we'll just see and we'll just keep posting because I know I'm a regular poster now um and yeah and also I want to talk about my tiktok I have a tiktok too which I will link it I'll leave a link in the description box below so that if anyone wants to follow my tiktok and they have tiktok they can do um I do a different things I've done an ASMR video on that and I also did filters with like music like just like you know ones like a one you know different filters that you do like on there and um, so if you want to check that out then I'll leave a link and you can follow me if you have it um so anyway as always if you're new to the channel subscribe as always and click, click on the notification bell so you're updated about any future videos or any content because you won't know if I've uploaded anything if you haven't clicked on the notification bell um anyway that's enough of that um, I'm going to get into the video, so today I'm going to be reviewing the Harley Quinn album, which is a separate album, signed of a separate project from the film, um, and it's, this is the cover of the Harley Quinn um, album, which is really, really good. Um, I listened to all of it the other day and it, it's very very good it's got some I wasn't at first when I first listened to it my first impression was I wasn't a big fan of the jazzy elements in it because it's very jazzy in parts like at the beginning and then it goes into the second half and then I was like I had different views but then I listened to it the second time and I really do love the jazz vibes within the album like it's a mixture of like got a jazzy elements to it it's also got like um like it's got ballad ballads in it and like it's got pop it's you know it's a rock you've got some rocky vibes with it so if you're if you've not listened to the new lady or the harley quinn album then um i'd advise you to go check it out if you like lady gaga i know not many people like her like stuff but i'm really a big fan of her she's like one of my inspirations she's an amazing artist 
Um, I think every anything she ever does and comes out with that's new, to to me is really really good. Um, obviously I re I love Chromatica. That was one of her recent albums she did, and she's also done Die with a Smile recently with Bruno Mars, which was really good. But this is just something unbelievable. This Harley Quinn album is just out of this world. Like this album, there's loads of different songs in it that. Um, I just all, just all amazing. Like my favorite songs on this album, I will say are, um, probably there's a song called "All oh, What All oh, My String," I think it is, and there's um, "What Friends Are For," is one of my favorites. Um, you know that's entertainment. It's another one of mine. I also like Joker, um, because it goes to me into a sort of rocky vibe. And I love the um, vocals. The vocals are very raw and emotional. I also, one of my favourite songs to sort of listen to all the time now. Um, you've probably seen them on, people have probably seen like the Joker song and the Happy Mistake sort of on TikTok. Like, you've probably seen people doing like tributes to it. I know I have. Um, like, Happy Mistake is just really a be it's such a beautiful ballad ballad song and it's one of my favourites too and just the the vocals in it like the vocals from that are in it and the emotion in it as well like it generally just makes me want to cry with it because it's just so emotional and um I can, I, I I keep listen I I'm gonna keep listening to the um. To the album constantly now i mean this is an album that's sort of separate from as a separate project from the actual score and the actual thing of the movie like there might be some of the songs that are in the actual joker film but I don't, i'm not sure about that because i haven't seen it but there is it's sort of a, it's sort of her adapt it's a sort of separate project and it's how she sees her harley queen character within the actual Joker. Like her character is Lee in the Joker and she's also plays Harley Quinn. So it's really it's a different vibe because it's not the Harley Quinn you sort of remember with like the Brooklyn accent and you sort of like Suicide Squad and all the Mother War films. It's a different direction and where it's like a stand, where you have the first Joker was a standalone and this one is another standalone and it's still got that dark sort of you don't know where it's feeling, you don't know what's faked in it and it's got that same thing. But yeah, the album is amazing and I love it and just every song in it is amazing. So like if you've never heard of the actual album then I suggest you go listen to it, check it out, like if you're a fan of hers. Um I'm also gonna talk about the Joker film because I'm going to see it tomorrow as well and I'm excited. Um and um so, so I love the trailers that have been coming out so far with the Joker. Like there's been two new trailers recently and the second trailer really goes on about um the relationship between, you know, Arthur and Gaga's character, which is Lee, and they both fall in love in it. Um there's a lot of it. There's a song on this album as well called Falling the Dukes, which is basically what the film is called. It's called Joe Two Falling the Dukes. Um, so it's, it's, that basically sounds, it's a French saying and it basically sounds for like two people, two insane sort of people. So that aren't the same, that aren't the, that are the same, but they're insane, but it's a French term. Um, there's a song on this called Falling the Dukes and in my the way I see this song is sort of like I can see I don't know if it's going to be in the film but I just see it as like a sort of because there's a lot of like um sort of tv dysfunctional things within the actual visualizers and I see Falling the Dukes song as like a sort of like you know like a sort of flashback, I see a sort of flashback between like Arthur and the Gaga's character Lee as and them sort of being the Joker and Harley in this flashback and them getting up to all sorts of nonsense together and like going crazy and everything. I see that song as that. It's probably not going to be like that in the film but it looks awesome and I'm so looking forward to watching the new film and 
you know. I'm looking forward to it and I'm gonna I can tell that I'm going to be um listening to the Harley Quinn Lady Hanger album constantly now because I absolutely love it. And if you haven't heard of it and you haven't seen it then and you're a big fan of Lady Gaga then I'd advise you to go and look, like listen to it with headphones if you can. Um she also done you can also listen to her other stuff like Chromatica, which to me like Chromatica is probably like a second art pop in the way. It's hard to decide what my favourite album is of hers at the moment because I like I like Chromatica but then if were this new Harley Quinn thing where it's a separate thing from um an album, it's not really an album, it's a separate um, project. I can just see from this new one, the Harley Quinn, that um the next album that she does in February is just gonna be like it's going to be amazing so i'm looking forward to that anyway but anyway that's pretty much my review of my review of the album would be like 10 out of 10 and uh, my, my reactions to it are amazing as well like, i like the joker my reaction to the joker as well like, i like the the sort of way it starts off as like you know smooth and deep and then it goes in when it starts to go into the chorus you know, my heart's out of my chest and it's a different reaction. And like I said, the emotions in the um, the vocals in this album are just so raw and emotional and I just love it. I like Happy Mistake too, which I've just said. But anyway, I'm going to do some sort of triggers now for the next half of the video. I know that was really short ramble um, going on about that, but I like to sort of mix it up and have a ramble a bit and then sort of go into other stuff. But I've got a candle again, but this candle is different from the last one. This is um this is a raspberry sorbet fragrance candle, it's a quite a big one, and I get I get my candles usually from Audi or Lidl do candles now, so we will do tapping from side to side like as a binaural thing, I don't know. If you have headphones, the best thing to do is wear headphones with this so you can hear the... Well, not so you can hear my stomach because my stomach's rumbling. It's probably because I'm hungry. But so you can hear the tapping noises and all the sounds. So we've also got this little lighter, which is an electronic lighter, which you've probably seen in the last video. But we'll do, we'll do it from side to side. Oops. Oh dear, I better not have fucking <laughs> burned my phone, sorry, I'm swearing. Oh, what the hell has happened? Anyway, oh it smells of burning now. No, I'm not having that. Right, we're just going to light it. Because I don't really want to keep doing that because it's going to um, do my head in and it's going to like smell of burning. I'll also do some candle blowing because I know there was a lot of people that liked it last time. I'll try not to burn myself. And you can probably see it. This one you can probably see. Because the problem is with my other video when I had the other candle is um, where it was the, it wasn't the natural light, it was a sort of light that I have on so that you can see everything. Um, it kind of looked a bit like, um, it looks like an orb of light, but this one I don't think it does. Let's do some blowing. myself oh, there you go and we'll have some you can follow the candle candle and candle candle and we'll do another sound of bubble blowing um, bubble blowing I don't know why I'm saying that like um candle blowing I'm gonna try moving my camera a bit, just so you can I can get it close. There 
there you go that's sort of a vinyl thing i'm gonna blow it out one more time but that's just to blow it out completely we'll have some smoke there you go right, i'm gonna put that over there and let it smoke off a bit and there's a herb on the table and i don't know why that is i'm also gonna do some like scissor triggers um I also thought this it would be kind of cool because these are like uh, sort of handcuffs, like metal handcuffs. I could just rattle them. Hopefully that's not too loud. I'll try to do it again. I know people like rattling the thing. And we've also got these cuffs, which I will try to do this. I don't know if that's relaxing or not. I've also got a key, which I thought would kind of be good for like. bit of this as a trigger and there you go that's a little bit of a trigger um for you as well like rattling with that let me try and put it back in sorry about that that's too loud let's try and put it back in I'm also going to do some scissor triggers to this. Um, oh, we can actually do some phone tracking. Uh, did I turn this off as well? Yes. I just hope that that thing with the lighter hasn't burned my phone. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't because my phone looks fine. So let's do some. Scratching of the phone and tapping. Tap, 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 tap. Right, there you go. And we'll also do some uh, some scissor cutting. Right, so we'll just cut your hair. We'll do it with two because I have two. So maybe two will be nice. We'll do this one first. Cut your hair. Do your fringe, whatever it is. Should have had a comb or something with this part. Right, so that's the first scissor. I don't know if this is going to really make a difference. I'm going to need to do this. And we'll also do. There you go, it's a bit of scissor cutting. Um, I'm also going to do some whispering too, like I'll just whisper some trigger words, maybe some hand movements, just to sort of end the video for relaxation. If you're probably asleep by the time that this is done, that's totally fine. And if you're watching it in the background, you can watch this in the background, however you want. I know there's a lot of people that keep re-watching my old videos, which is really good. So yeah, let's do some whispering from ear to ear. So we will say, relax, 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 relax.
podcast. It's only because I'm doing the There you go. That's just a top finish off the video. Um, hopefully the binaural thing works with that, with the whispering. Hopefully, I, I haven't done. Um, I probably will probably do a whispering video sometime in the future because I know a lot of my video consists of like soft spoken and like not whispering as much. But I was also rambling too with it. So um, it's pretty much it for the video um today. Sorry, I got distracted. Um, that's pretty much it for the video today. Um, I'm doing my video today as I won't be able to do my video tomorrow because I'm going to cinemas to watch the Joker too, like I said. Um, which hopefully, once I've watched it, there should be a review up on my channel talking about it too because, um, and I don't, if you, also, if I do review the Joker, like the second one, if you haven't seen it, then don't watch my review video when it comes out. But by the time I do it, people will probably be seeing it, but I don't know. Um, but that's pretty much it for the video today. Um, it's a little bit sharp, but also a bit messy here and there, but I mean, I'll be doing some more videos soon. Um, I want to try to do some more like roleplay videos and stuff like that as well on my channel because I've not been doing them lately. Um, so yeah, um, hopefully you've enjoyed this video of me doing triggers and me reviewing the Harley Quinn. Um, and like I said, if you haven't heard of the new Lady Gaga album Harley Quinn, then please go check it out and listen to it because you'll generally love it. If you're a big fan of hers anyway so anyway i hope you all have a wonderful day today the it's kind of sunny in the uk today so it's kind of a bit more sort of bright today that's why in my video i kind of have the sun going in and then going out so yeah but it's really good to see you all guys again and um hopefully i should be doing more videos um, have a wonderful day today, whatever you're doing. It's almost Friday, so it's really cool. Uh, I will let you know when I decide to post a review of the Joker. Um, I'll also put a warning in place at the beginning when I do talk about it because I don't want to ruin it for other people who haven't seen it. So, anyway, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day. And I will see you all, guys, in the next video. <laughs>